The Subaru XT is a two-door, front or all-wheel drive, four-passenger 2-2 coupe manufactured and marketed by Subaru for model years 1985 to 1991, with a facelift in 1987. At introduction, the XT was the most aerodynamic car marketed in the US market, heavily influenced by noted designer Alex Tremulis, marketed as the Alcyone in Japan, as the Vortex in Australia and New Zealand, and as the XT, with the EA82 four-cylinder engine, or XT6, with the ER27 six-cylinder engine, in North America and Europe, all XTs were assembled at Subaru's Ujima plant in Oda, Japan. Over its single generation, production reached just over 98,000. The XT was conceived in the United States for the US market, and debuted globally in the US. After sales began in February 1985 in the US, the XT Turbo four-wheel drives debuted in Europe at the March 1985 Geneva Motor Show, followed by its Japanese debut in June 1985. The XT was noted for its pronounced wedge shape, low coefficient of drag, aviation influences from the aircraft division of parent company Fuji Heavy Industry, and its host of features, either innovative or uncommon in the XT's class, including height-adjustable pneumatic suspension, digital dash, central locking system, op-art upholstery, fold-down rear seat, pod and center console mounted HVAC controls, advanced trip computer, and instrument cluster that tilted with adjustment of the steering column. With available front-wheel drive or four-wheel drive, depending on the model year, the XT offered three trim levels, DL, GL, non-turbo, front drive only, and GL10 turbo. The Alcyone nameplate derives from Alcyone, the brightest star in the Pleiades star cluster, stylized in the Subaru logo. The model was superseded by the Subaru Alcyone SVX in 1992. The XT featured a pronounced wedge shape, sharing a common, folded paper, design approach with the Type A Subaru Leone. When introduced, the New York Times called it, the ultimate in jazzy design, in contrast to Subaru's other offerings. Though derived from earlier Subarus, it was less overtly practical or commodious. The 2.7-liter flat-six engine exceeded 2,000 cubic centimeters in the Japanese domestic market, thereby exceeding government engine displacement regulations and incurring higher annual road tax. Subaru's trademark boxer engine with its flat, horizontally opposed cylinder configuration, enabled the bodywork's pronounced wedge shape, and extensive wind tunnel testing further lowered the XT's coefficient of drag. Pop-up headlights contributed to the wedge shape, and retractable button-like flaps allowed opening the door while keeping the handles flush with their adjacent bodywork. The XT used a single 22-inch windshield wiper which tucked under the hood when not in use, and rubber spoilers ahead of each wheel opening settled the airflow past the tires and wheels, while doubling as mudguards. The result was one of the most aerodynamic production cars of its time with a coefficient of drag of 0.29, improved fuel economy, and a quieter ride due to reduced wind noise. The XT's interior used numerous aviation-like features, reflecting influences from the aircraft division of Subaru's parent company, Fuji Heavy Industries. The instruments featured pod-mounted controls for lighting, HVAC and wipers. The instrument panel moved with the standard tilt telescope steering to keep the instruments oriented to the driver, recalling the same feature on the Isuzu Piazza and the Ford Probe introduced earlier in the 1980s and the Porsche 928 in the late 1970s. The joystick-shaped shifter integrated a thumb-trigger interlock for the on-demand four-wheel drive. Turbo models featured a quasi-artificial horizon orange backlit liquid crystal instrument display with the tachometer, boost indicator, temperature and fuel gauges seen as three-dimensional graphs oriented to the quasi-horizon. The XT featured a turbocharger, computer-controlled engine and transmission, adjustable height suspension and an optional digital instrument cluster. The pneumatic with height control recalled the use of hydro-pneumatic suspension by Citroen and Mercedes-Benz. Other uncommon features included an electronic in-dash trip computer, headlight washers, XT6-only alloy wheels featuring an inset rectangular shape, pass-through folding rear seats, racing-style front seats and available push-button four-wheel drive, later changed to all-wheel drive, the XT featured a speed alarm at 55 miles per hour, that could be activated with a separate key. The XT was launched initially as the XT in North America, Alcyone in Japan and Vortex in Australia and New Zealand. The pre-facelift XT was only powered by an H4 and was produced from 1985 to 1987. Like other Subaru models of the same vintage, 
the North American Market XT was sold in four models, the base model XTDL, the better equipped XTGL, the top of the range front wheel drive XTGL10 Turbo and four wheel drive XTGL10 Turbo Traction. Many of the options mentioned above were available only on the GL10 models. In Japan it was only available as two turbocharged models, the Alcyone four-wheel drive VR Turbo, and the Alcyone FF vs Turbo. Australia and New Zealand also got two models, the turbocharged Vortex Turbo and the non-turbocharged Vortex XT. Initially the Vortex was only available as the non-turbocharged manual Vortex XT, but the turbo version and automatic gearbox came the following year. European markets generally only received the XT Turbo and the XT Turbo four-wheel drive, XT Turbo Allrad in Germany, where the car was sold in small numbers as a halo model. The XT received a minor update in 1987 for the second half of the 1987 model year roughly corresponding to the 1988 launch of the XT6, a new six-cylinder model. Where earlier models featured bumper-mounted reverse lights, 1987.5 up models had the reverse lights in the center taillight panel. The front and rear bumpers were also redesigned. In Japan, the original bumpers were used for the VS and VR while the VX received the new facelift. In the US, all new models received the facelifted bumpers. All wheel drive turbo and six-cylinder models were distinguished by their headrests. Base models had solid headrests where the turbo AWD and six-cylinder models had a large rectangular hole through the center. In North America the updated XT was sold in two models, the base four-cylinder model GL, and the new six-cylinder model XT6. The turbo models were dropped from the North American market after the update. In Japan, the updated XT was sold in three models, the turbocharged front-wheel drive VS, the turbocharged four-wheel drive VR, and the new six-cylinder four-wheel drive Alcyone VX. In New Zealand, the new six-cylinder model was marketed as the Vortex ZZ6. However, virtually none were sold due to New Zealand's fuel options were 91-octane unleaded fuel or 96-octane leaded fuel while the ER-27 required 96-octane unleaded petrol. There are only two NZ new six-cylinder Vortexes left registered today according to NZTA fleet data. In Japan, the part-time four-wheel drive system was replaced entirely by the new full-time four-wheel drive system. In the US, the XT6 was available in either front-wheel drive or with the new full-time four-wheel drive system while the XTGL was available with either front-wheel drive or the old, on-demand, four-wheel drive. The XT6 was fitted with a unique Cybrid Adaptive Electrohydraulic Steering System that changed the level of assistance based on the vehicle's speed. This system did not use a conventional belt-driven power steering pump, freeing up much-needed space in the XT6's already cramped engine bay. The Cybrid system also uses hydraulic fluid that is incompatible with conventional power steering fluid, which is usually automatic transmission fluid. This fluid is still available directly from Subaru at a significant premium over more common types of hydraulic fluid. The XT6 has two electric fans to also help performance compared to one electric fan and one belt-driven fan on all other XTs. With these changes, the XT6 was given a higher amp alternator. The XT6 was not available with the digital instrument cluster of the Turbo XT models. A special, 30th anniversary, version of the Alcyone VX was produced in 1988, limited to 30 units. This version had a white and gold paint job with, 30th anniversary, Side decals and a red interior. Point two prototype versions of the Alcyone VX were made in Japan for the 27th Tokyo Motor Show. The Junko Shimada was one that included a full black paint job with black smooth wheel caps and a bright red leather interior, designed by Japanese fashion designer Junko Shimada. The other was the Fiche Special, which was a convertible version of the Alcyone with special hubcaps and interior graphics designed by Yoshiyuki Konishi. The FICCE is allegedly sitting in the Ibaraki prefecture in need of restoration. Overall production of the XT remained low throughout its lifespan. Although the fuel crisis of the late 1970s and ever-tightening emissions regulations had severely limited power figures from all manufacturers in the mid-1980s, the XT's paltry 134 horsepower, 100 kilowatt, wasn't enough to attract serious attention from the automotive racing crowd. One of Subaru's ads from the 1980s read, the kind of car Mercedes might have built if they were a little more frugal and a lot more inventive. The car's extra features, which certainly had some novelty appeal, 
were uncharacteristic of this class of car and may not have contributed much to the XT's sales. In the 1980s, consumers with surplus cash in search of a better equipped vehicle did not generally start shopping at Subaru. Subaru produced 98,918 XTs, XT6s, and Alcyones. Surprisingly, only 8,170 of these were sold in the Japanese market. While the XT was an interesting design exercise, it did little to grow Subaru's sales. The company has seen much more widespread success in the significantly more mainstream Legacy, Legacy Outback and Impreza WRX models introduced in recent years. The Subaru XT Turbo was the official car for the most valuable player for Super Bowl XXII presented by Sport Magazine in 1988, eventually won by Washington Redskins quarterback Doug Williams, and the Subaru XT6 was the official car for the most valuable player for Super Bowl XXIII in 1989, eventually won by San Francisco 49ers wide receiver Jerry Rice. The XT was almost never officially used for racing. One exception is the 1985 Wins Safari Australia where one XT competed, however it received damage and was not able to finish.